Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've been able to actually get out and get a good ride out. So today's weather is just beautiful. Got home from work and I just thought I'd do a little commentary because something cool really happened <clears throat> as far as a thought process on batteries. So, you know, in my last interview yesterday that I had with John from Amp Rides USA, we talked a little bit about batteries in the segment and I have a, a link below that talks about or where you can go directly to that segment where he was a little concerned about the larger size Samsung battery cells going out of stock and lo and behold today when he went and talked to his suppliers I guess they uh, found out that the China Samsung factory or wherever I think well, Samsung might be a Korean factory but factory that makes the cells actually I guess they just don't have any in stock so his larger battery sizes that we were talking about yesterday uh, he had to go ahead and place the bikes on hold until they can get more stock in place he refuses to go ahead and go with cheaper cells because that makes a big difference on the quality of his bikes so as we're talking I mean we're texting back and forth he did say that uh, he's gonna go ahead and opt to still sell the, the smaller size battery bikes and along with that what he would be doing is selling two batteries for the extra capacity so which is actually I thought was a brilliant idea honestly uh, so I'd love to hear your thoughts the reason why I'm doing this commentary is not only to let you know that although we talked about the big battery sizes if you're looking for an, uh, an Amrides bike the Volt uh, they don't have the larger ones in stock right now or well, they're not going to be ordering those because the cells aren't being made uh, the Samsung cells but what he's going to be doing is he's going to be getting two of the smaller batteries which equal the size of one big battery in my opinion I thought was actually a better idea uh, because in that way you're going to have two batteries to swap out and also you know when you have a fresh battery that you can swap into then half your ride you get a boost again of a higher battery or the other thing to think about is if you are going to be me and you have a second battery you don't need to charge a second one at work you can have two batteries charged up when you get to work you swap out the battery then you can come home with a charge of battery without having to worry about carrying a charger so that was one of the other things I decided to go ahead and mention is that I'd rather have two smaller batteries that equal one big one than to have one big one because also one big one takes longer to recharge so um I'm gonna turn around here So I'd love to hear your thoughts. The whole reason why I'm doing this commentary is because I really want to get an idea on whether or not uh, I'm a, I have a, a better, I, I mean, I think it's better. Whether you guys agree with me, I guess is the best way to do it, on having two batteries rather than just having one a big one, but two smaller that actually is the same amount of capacity. Because I'm also thinking on the shorter rides, like I go to the post office every day with a, you know some of the posts that I have to deliver when I have them in stock. And, um, you know, I just run, jump on the bike, do a quick ride back and forth. It's only about you know, a total of 10 minutes on my ride. Or, yeah, only about 10 minutes. So I don't even need a really big battery. It keeps the bike lighter. And uh, if any time I need to go in, I can just have one fully charged swapped out or doing it now. Keeping a battery fully charged is not the best thing. Right now, the reason why I decided to also make a ride right now is because of the fact that I didn't want to have... I wasn't going to be right because I'm out of stock. I wasn't going to the post office every day. I didn't want to keep this bike uh, fully charged and not ride it for a few days because it's always better to keep your battery a little bit off the top capacity if you're going to be sitting around not having it ride for a few days. So I decided to take it. Maybe I'll do this every day. Do if, I'd love to hear your comments. If you like this type of commentary where we can discuss this and what's going on with that, uh, I decided also when talking that I'd go ahead and get a, a second battery with... Uh, my Blackbird as well and um, when I get the, the second battery I, it's only because I don't know how long my commute is going to be and I, I'm going to have battery anxiety for sure also I don't need to keep charging I keep a, a charger at work if I don't want to it just made sense to me and also based on what John was saying it's totally true that when you get the battery shipped to you with the bike a second battery or a spare battery it costs less so that's another thing. You get the second battery at a discount, but it's also going to be total same cost as if you already had one big battery. So, um, I don't know. 
I, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on it. I mean, also having a second battery, another benefit would be if one battery starts to go bad, then you don't have to go worry about buying a second one quickly, and it might not even be in stock in a lot of places. Like, for instance, right now that they're out, so... Well, it's one of those things that's just, uh, you know what, it'd be kind of interesting to hear what you guys think about that. So, um, you know, do me a favor, if you get a chance, go ahead and comment below. Tell me what you think. Uh, like this video if you like this type of commentary. I don't know how the audio is going to turn out, so really sorry about it if uh, it's really windy. I'm going to try a lapel mic next time, and last time I tried a lapel mic, it just didn't work out that well in the first place. But I have a better lapel mic, and I thought maybe to try it. But the last time I did a commentary test, talking into the camera, just it wasn't actually all that bad. So uh, just kind of wanted to go ahead and, and try this out again. I want to also thank everybody for your support. Also, if you haven't seen that video that I did uh, with the interview with John from Amp Rides, really interesting stuff. Again, uh, I have a chapter markings on the bottom of the uh, of the video in the description where you can just jump straight to the place where it talks about batteries and you can see what we're talking about. Because the shortage of batteries is a big deal that's uh, happening right now. I think a lot of it should be um, not concerned about, but just be aware of that if you are going to be needing a new battery soon, you know, what kind of battery you might want to be uh, considering over uh, different cells instead of going generic because, you know, it does make a difference on how many charge recycles you get. And, uh, you know, talking about charge recycles, uh, Micah from Electric did a really good video that talked about, you know, how batteries work, 52 volt versus 48, the differences on that. Uh, also, like, battery maintenance about why you should not I mean he went into the scientific detail the geek stuff about why you should uh, think about your battery maintenance on, on why they don't last as long as you, if you keep them stored up with a full charge the whole time so anyway uh, thanks again and I will see you guys in the next video